all right what's up guys i'm bryce i'm rob and i'm zuff and we are real time today we got season two episode three of heartstopper this one's called promise promise this one could be potentially about tau and l because he decided last episode he is going to tell her that he likes her i think he came to terms with that and i'm really looking forward to this i'm really hoping he gets that haircut beforehand because yeah. i think it'll make a lasting impression on her and yeah she's kind of she's she seems very happy with the direction she's going she was at that art thing the art school and then went to the club with her new friends and she seems to be having a great time and i think tao is getting a bit scared now like wow maybe she won't always be here and i, I gotta act now so it might be confusing for her if he does say it now at this time because she, like i said she she has great things going for her but it's it's about time he says something to her i think they've had chemistry the whole entire show yeah. so i'm looking forward to seeing how she reacts it might not be great at first but i think it's going to be great at in the end i mean nick's brother i don't like him at all uh he seems to be against nick um just his whole life i feel like this guy has been giving nick problems and I think Nick needs to, at some point, take the high ground, uh, look down at him, and just say, I'm better than you. Like, the guy is living at home. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, I think they said he's home from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right um, yeah, but his brother did figure out about him being bi, and he's just like, well, at least just say you're gay. Like, what an absolute clown. I can't wait to get this guy back to uni and out of the show. As long as he doesn't out... Uh, Nick, like, I think we're in the clear. I think I do agree with Bryce's prediction of the promise being something about L and Tao, especially because uh, he is so worried about, like, her leaving to go to that college. And since, like, Bryce also mentioned, he's ready to finally, like, confess his feelings for her. Uh, I could see, like, them having a conversation and, like, a promise being made that, uh, like they're not gonna separate or i could see honestly a promise being made between like the whole friend group as a whole because he's also worried that like him liking l is just gonna ruin the entire friend group which i i don't think is the case i think that's just on his head all right guys that's pretty much it though before we get into this episode if you guys have been enjoying all of our heart stopper reactions please drop a like comment and subscribe check out our links in the description we got our patreon our discord our second channel a talk all of our social medias and the address to our po box down there but yeah let's get into it season two episode three of heart stopper promise let's go restaurant that's a classic date location mm. Mm. we're troubleshooting her date ideas a theme park don't you hate roller coasters Ooh, what if you go to a bookshop? Okay, hey. okay. Bookshop? That's a good idea, Isaac. I've been grounded and he's got exams, so I've barely seen him outside of school. I'm stuck at home doing my history coursework. Oh my god, you're all useless. Do your fucking coursework, Charlie. Christian Nick collects the tones. Charlie, can you collect the raspberry balls, please? Good season, thank you! Well done, you guys. Oh, that's it? Rugby's over. Oh, just. Yeah, we're having an end of TCC party in the woods next week. In the woods? And you guys should come. Yeah, cool. Maybe. <laughs> Nick, man, we're not. Nick! Friends with Harry. Oh, that's why. Uh, we're sorry about what happened at the cinema. We should have spoken up. Alright, boys. Appreciate that. I seriously don't blame you for fighting him. I know you and Charlie are really good mates. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Good mates. It's, I feel like it. the other two guys even looked and they were like, well. Still couldn't come out to any of them. Are they about to lips each other? No the UK slang there. Like it. If I don't come out of school soon, we're probably going to get found out anyway. Because you keep wanting to kiss at school. I've never <laughs> initiated a kiss at school. Oh, really? So what about the changing room? That didn't count. Or the English room. Oh, someone's going to see this, bro. They are not very careful. They are snogging. Oh, knew it. <laughs> I mean, how can you not expect that? Yeah. Maybe that's the promise. What? Promise not to tell coach. Coach promised not to tell anyone. It'd be really weird if coach told people. Yeah. Yo, team, guess what? When I was at uni, things were pretty bad. That was in women's rugby. Lots of lesbians in women's rugby. That's how I met my wife. Oh. 
telling all my friends. Some took it better than others. Well, that's a good person yeah, to have holy. find out. Like a magic in the wand. So, um, we don't owe them that information, okay? Why should there basketballs back there? I think she's the gym coach or like the gym teacher. Just a weird place to have basketballs. It's still a weird place to have basketballs. Maybe keep the kissing outside of team practice. <laughs> no problem. We just love it so much. We have so much fun kissing. <laughs> wow. Are you speaking for Nick there? <laughs> you keep your speaking for Charlie on your shirt. I'll do All the right. Nick. I'll do All the Nick right. speaking. Go ahead. You got something to say here? Uh uh. That mean I have to speak for Tao? <laughs> yeah. Here is Tao on your shirt? Is Tao on your shirt? He is. He's got that hair. Look at him. When's he gonna get it chop chopped? When they go to Paris. What about your history course? Right? I haven't helped you with that at all. It's fine. It's done. It's I'm not. a bit of a genius. It's not done, Charlie. There's no way. I haven't seen you do any of your coursework. Right now. What's going on here? <laughs> it's more fun. Oh, have you read this one? Of course I've read that one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Tal's looking up like how to ask out girls. Yes, haircut. Oh, I saw the word yeah. haircut in there. Uh huh. Okay. Dude. Yes. That's you, boy. Does that mean I have to get a haircut? Yep. Guys, should I get a haircut? Yep. Yep. All right, it's done. Well done. GCOC is over. That's a good feeling. It's time to go party in the woods. Let's go into the woods. Oh. Party tonight! And we'll bring you a drink, Harry, Fuck you're not off, invited. Harry. You're not allowed into the woods, Harry. Paris is basically like a five day long sleepover. You're gonna be so annoyed with me after that. I love you because of how annoying you are. Good old Tara and Darcy. I mean, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean that in an I love you way, that, that was just a casual I love you. Mm. That's not me asking you to say it back or anything. I mean, it's not a big deal, come on. <laughs> now we have run into another conflict. I can't wait to see Tao, man. Is he about to pull up to this meeting with, uh, yeah, he is, totally. No way. He's not here yet, so. Please, please. Oh, hi, James. James. I was just thinking, do you want to come to that end of exams party tonight? Oh, um, yeah. Okay. Yes, Isaac. <laughs> cool. And all your okay. friends too, obviously. Sweet. Thank you very yeah. much. Be there. Bye, Bye Isaac. Bye. Isaac? Isaac's got a love interest. Quiet! <laughs> Everybody listens to this guy. Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Farouk. Uh, welcome, everyone. I hope you're He's all... He's like the, the best new character. So, we'll now ask you to get into groups of four who will be the people you share hotel rooms with. So Nick and Charlie and Isaac. And Tao. And Tao, okay. No way. Here he is. Yo! <laughs> oh my god. What is going on? Dude, look at how good he looks. He looks so cool. Oh, for you for finishing your GCSEs. What's happening right now? Yo. Oh, I like you romantically. <laughs> <laughs> romantically. Tonight. Dude, he's just a whole different person. You like me. Um, yeah. That's my boy. My boy. I've been sort of wondering if... Knew you had it in your back. towel. A dash? <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. God, dude. Oh my goodness. I thought maybe we could go to the cinema. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's, oh, that's wow. the go right there, Tao. That's my boy. Look at him. Dude, his fashion is just insane. I love it.
This is ready to date. <laughs> yeah. It's so awkward now. What are we seeing? It's a surprise. So that's two tickets for Moonrise Kingdom at 7.15. Ah, oh, dude. That's my favorite That's one movie. I've always wanted to watch. I've never watched it, though. What's that about? I don't really know. I just, I've always heard good things about it. I've never heard of it. Two. Follow me. <laughs> so nice. Damn, this is a party. I think I know that song. I believe it's the 1975. Hey. James. Did you want a drink? Not alcohol. I mean, there is alcohol if you want it, but yeah, sure. Come on then. <laughs> Let's go. Give my boy some more lines. I'm here for Isaac's love. Get his head out of the books. What's up? I'm fine. Just a headache. We can leave if you want. What color would you call Nick Nelson's hair? Please. Would you say he's a ginger? Uh, see the freckles? A little bit, yeah. Maybe. More of an auburn, maybe? He's on the cusp, for sure. Damn, and that's a lot of- look at how much popcorn that is. Massive amount. Yeah, man. The nachos. popcorn to drink Small ratio. Drink. And then the nachos next to them? It makes me really, really want some popcorn. Look at the nachos, dude. That's a boat. <laughs> I like how the seat is like one seat. Uh-huh. You look really nice, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. You do too. Yeah. Well... It just looks better like this, doesn't it? Yeah. But you always liked it long. I hope you didn't cut it for me. Well. Nah. <laughs> eh, might have. I'm just taking adorable pictures. Okay. <laughs> if anyone looks, these two are obviously coupled up. Yeah, dude, they don't hide it very well. If you're not feeling well, fine. I can do this. Just think about Fuck the haters, Nick Nelson. Never forget. Kissing in front of the Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Mm. <laughs> Look at him. He wants to kiss. Yo. Make your move, Tao Su. <laughs> it's just so awkward. I this is weird. No. Oh my god, Tao. Just not how I wanted this to go. This is a crazy party. It's a good one. They're instantly separated. Mm. Oh, not Harry. Let's not start a forest fire here, guys. <laughs> I hate him. I just think that's probably Wes Anderson's least technically good movie, from like a story perspective. I mean, it all hinges on the romance between. Didn't she say it's like her favorite movie? Yeah. I like this song. Oh, the friends he's jealous of. I didn't know you invited them. Yeah. They're my friends. I don't understand what I did wrong tonight. It's like you were trying to be a completely different person. You're the one who's completely different. Oh no. Oh. And I exist completely. You're the one who said we'd always put our friendship first. Well, I guess romance does ruin friendship. Oh no. god, dude. That ended terribly. How'd it go? Mm. God. Maybe he was just nervous. I'm fundamentally unlikable. I try too hard, and I talk too much. I ruin everything. Tao, please don't say that. It's okay, Tao. You'll recover. I don't want to feel like this anymore. Come here. Yeah, I lost him. Sorry. You said you'd look after him. You're not very good at keeping your promises. Promise? Mmm. There was a few promise that stirred around. <laughs> That guy really likes him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. You're bisexual, so you're gonna cheat on my brother. Are you sure you're not just gay? Pick a side. You promised you were gonna come out. I should put another time together. Mm, all these thoughts in his head. Nick doesn't want to talk to you, Harry. Piss off. Oh, oh shit, Charlie. What's his problem? <laughs> Gee, how funny it is. I feel really ill. I'm taking you home. <laughs> Just like the whole environment there was weird. They were like acting like the fire was like the DJ. And yeah. Just like all around it. Like they're raving to the fire. <laughs> oh, here's the scene. Yeah. Oh, nice. I if I stay for a bit just to make sure he's okay. Nick, so lucky to have you, Charlie. What do you think they're drinking? Tea. Oh, really? Sorry. I'm full. It's always next time, Nick. Charlie, Don't worry. Charlie is, he doesn't care, brother. He wants whatever is best for you. I think there's this idea that when you're not straight, you have to tell all your friends and family immediately. Like you owe it to them. But you don't. Let them know, Charlie. You sweetheart. Sweet, sweet boys. Maybe we should forget the coming out plan for a while. Really? Yeah. Let's just stay low-key in Paris, and then it'll be the summer holidays. We can just be us. And if that takes a long time, that's completely okay. I guess... Part of me just wants everyone to know you're my boyfriend. Take your time, boys. Boy. Boy. Yeah, I guess the other boy is ready. He's out. Everyone knows. Right? Oh, yeah. I think that it's perfectly fine that Nick doesn't want to come out right now. Um, I, I, I mean, Charlie is totally the best person to to be with in that situation like he understands completely i think charlie just wants to you know have the experience of being able to tell people that they're dating and everything but obviously nick being comfortable and nick being like okay with coming out is way more important to him um i think it will happen hopefully this season but i mean uh I don't think he's in any rush at the moment, to be honest. I'm glad he told Imogen, but he did try to tell two of his rugby mates this episode, and uh, it just, he wasn't able to get it out. I do think a large part of that had to do with Harry being there, though. I can't believe you're missing the opportunity to talk about the guy on your shirt. He went on his first date with uh, Elle. That was crazy. I know. I'm traumatized I mean, by that. It was a very bad day. <laughs> It was so awkward. They were sort of sitting there and they knew it was bad. Tao was trying to become a completely new person. I love the haircut, but he doesn't have to change his personality along with the haircut. I think it was a very, very strange date. And I mean, we saw a glimpse of what could be a bad future between these two. And she went in to her friends in the tent and just said, listen, I don't want to feel like this anymore. And we're getting really close to make or break it with Tao and L, I think, and we need to figure out what's gonna happen. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure like their GCSEs are over. That was like what they were celebrating at that bonfire party. And I think that means we're just very close to this Paris trip. I'm really looking forward to the Paris trip. I think they're gonna figure a lot of stuff out there. I think I could really see Tao and L going into it and not like still being at, at this weird stage yeah. and then figuring out the relationship there as well as maybe Nick coming to terms with how he wants to go about coming out there. But I think it'd be awesome if they were boyfriend and boyfriend there in Paris and they were out and they were just able to to be free in, yeah. in Paris. I think that'd be the, the perfect place. But like we said, if he's not ready, he's not ready. Just saying, I mean, it'd be, it'd be really romantic and fun like they were saying. But hopefully the next episode or maybe the next one after that, they get to go to Paris, I think. I think it's going to be the highlight of the season. It's going to be refreshing seeing them in a, in a new setting, a new light. So, all right, guys, that's pretty much it, though, for this episode. If you guys have been enjoying our Heartstop reactions, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. we got our Patreon, our Discord, our second channel, Atalk, all of our social medias, and the address to our PO box down there. But, yeah, we'll catch you guys next time for Season 2, Episode 4 of Heartstopper. Peace out.